We've got a breach. Everybody gets a cross shot. Oh, I didn't need to see that. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming in. Mm, okay. <laughs> uh, we have finished clearing the path out to the pit mine. And I am, like, seriously lagging, but that's nothing new. Also very encumbered at the moment, so let's open this up and put our heaviest items in here. That's pretty, pretty close there, I think. Um... I thought about taking this building out too, just because it's kind of almost in the direct path, but you don't really need to. We can just kind of come around right through here. I might actually take it out later, we'll see, but I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, so we are now at the mine location. Uh, this little brick thing here, you know what, I, I do want to take this out. Okay, that gets rid of that. Now, um, what uh, what I want to do next is I want to, you know, kind of figure out the perimeter of the pit. But it's going to be a little bit uh, tricky doing that without uh, without you know kind of knowing where. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Without knowing exactly where the veins are going to go. Obviously, we don't want the pit to be any wider than it needs to be. But, um, you know, it is going to be an open pit to some extent, too. So, what we'll probably do is just start... Uh, you know, kind of just start right around the the nodes here, and then if it looks like the pits or the veins are going, um, you know, in a different direction, we might, you know, have to open that part up too. 
Oh shit. Oh, that scared me. Um I mostly just Oh, that hurt footprints. Uh footsteps. I, I mostly just not want to have to worry too much about cave-ins. That's the main thing. But obviously, you know, the larger the pit is, the hard, harder it's going to be to defend too. So we need to find, you know, some kind of hap happy medium there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if those don't have the red things on them, they're not actual live mines. I've been lucky in that assumption so far anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, so these are our nodes. And so I think what we'll do is let's just kind of make um, a bit of a square around the, the nodes itself, themselves. So this one would obviously be the one, you know, furthest to the southeast. And, you know, chances are that the vein could start heading back in that direction. But for starters, let's just point, let's point west and aim towards that tree right there. And we'll, we'll come back to right about here, maybe. And I'm going to, I'm going to use my hand tools somewhat too, just because I don't want to wear out my my jackhammer and my Valkyrie drill, because I want to save those for the ores, you know? So so for this ruined stone and and dirt and whatnot, let's just use the hand tools. It'll take longer, but it is what it is. Okay, so we'll leave that tree there as that marker, and now we'll head north from here until we get past that node. What I'm thinking about maybe doing too is putting up like um, a central tower that goes all the way to bedrock and then putting a turret, like a shotgun turret or a um, or an SMG turret with a Jenny up on, um, on that, you know, to help defend the, the situation. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's start heading now towards the east, uh, towards the mining cart. We're just kind of outlining the circumference here. Okay, so that gets uh, the perimeter outlined. Um, this is really big, though. <laughs> and like I said, the bigger it is, the more difficult it's going to be to defend. So I guess, I don't know, kind of... I'd like to know, I guess, because th this node is further away from all the rest of them, I'd like to know if this one heads east. Um, so why don't we go ahead and cut down here and just kind of see what direction the vein goes in. Yeah, it does kind of seem to go east-ish a little bit, but maybe not too much. Okay, uh... Part's probably just going to keep going down. Shut up. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten the perimeter of this and go not take it all the way back to the edge of this uh, node because... It's just going to, I think it's going to be too big and, and we'll just have to, nice, nothing like having a, a rattlesnake in a pit with you, right? Um, 
and we'll just you know kind of tunnel over this direction and hopefully we don't have to worry about cave-ins what I am gonna do though is I'm gonna put some blocks there just so I know that that's where that area is or remember that that's where it is okay okay so let's take this uh i guess this is the eastern side and and shrink it up a little bit closer to these guys so maybe right about here okay that's a little better it's a little it's more a little more rectangular now instead of square but that's not a problem Okay, so now we know where that is. Let's uh, let's get the titanium, the surface titanium mine, so we don't accidentally dig under it and collapse it and, and lose the material. Um, so let's do another load of the heavy stuff in here. Excellent. Okay. Now, basically, what's going to happen is. We're just going to start shaving down and start creating the pit mine. I'll get the rest of this surface titanium here down to one block down, two. We got company. Let's get over here in case uh, they get a little bit... bit too much for us to handle. Ronnie McDonnie. I didn't think I finished completely loading this thing. <laughs> oh, this game, man. You gotta let the animation completely finish or it doesn't load. I had a dime for every time I got killed because of that, right? Um, here's the other one. Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, so now uh, really it's just a matter of, like I said, uh, starting to shave this down. And we'll just, you know, we'll kind of just take it down one layer at a time. And, you know, we'll get... Obviously get the resources and the skill points and all that for all the work. And so, yeah, let's uh, probably just going to do some more time lapse on this because I'm going to be digging in uh, in the dirt and in the stone for quite a while. So, yeah, enjoy the time lapse, guys. Let's do this.
All right, there we have it. Now we know the outline to the pit <coughs> here. Uh, so I think the next step is going to be to uh, line the thing with with spikes. And uh, like I said, I might dig a hole all the way down to bedrock in the center, somewhere around in here, and then just kind of build up a, a tower. Nerd pull back out with the tower and then put a turret on top of it. And then, you know, as as we go down further, as, as the mine goes down further, we just remove the block and bring the turret down with us kind of idea. Um, You know, that would work easier, though, if I just used a junk turret because then I wouldn't have to mess with generators and power lines and stuff. But the junk turret's not going to be nowhere near as powerful as the thing. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have to think about how I want to actually do that. But for now, let's go back to the base and I want to get, oh, actually I have some, I already have some, uh, fences in here. Uh, we have 49 in fact, and I have, uh, some more, uh, two that I have back at the base being made up. Not a ton, but a few anyways. Okay, so, yeah, let's start setting these down, then. So, we'll work we'll work on this side first, I guess. We don't actually need that tree there anymore, either. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if... What happens if we just put that there? Okay, yeah, it'll just do its thing. Gotcha. I know this is uh, not a very firm foundation, but it'll have to work. I, I did consider maybe lining it with concrete blocks, but uh, I'm just going to try this first and, you know, see how this works. And if it doesn't work very well, then we'll go to plan B. Okay, so that's it for the spikes that I currently have. And um, in hindsight, maybe I should have put those actually up higher, but it is what it is. I mean, they're not. it's not like they're going to jump over it. They're going to run right into them and get caught up on them. Um, and you could potentially even argue that having them lower might prevent them from getting hit as much, though. I wouldn't bet any money on that one way or the other. Okay, cool. So, yeah, let's head back to the base and um, get some more spikes and see what we need to get a turret and a generator set up going. I think that's, yeah, the next step here. I want to also bring some, uh, just some dirt blocks out here to kind of plug the few holes that, that I made. But yeah, this is nice and open here. We could probably stand to take out a couple more of these just to have a really nice and clear path here. What's that bird doing? He's going to come after me as soon as I get in the vehicle. Excuse me, Nurse Nancy. Okay, I'll see you guys back at the base. Oh, shit. We got a breach.
Everybody gets a crotch shot. Oh, I didn't need to see that. I'm kind of like stuck in the wall here. Oh, shit. Um. <laughs> okay, that works. It teleported us to the roof. <laughs> I was down uh, below doing a bunch of mining uh, overnight. And, um, yeah, so there you go. Okay, so let's Ready see. I need to see if I can give you... Uh, yeah, I'm like way heavy here. But I can't give you a whole lot more. We're going to have to fix our, our little area down below because they obviously breached it. Um, okay, yeah, so I need to... Find a to see place to store some stuff so I can move. So you know what we're gonna do is critical errors shutting down. Let's just give Roberta all that stuff, and I'll come back up and get her. Oh, look at that! Looks like our veggies are ready. Uh, all right, so here's the thing, guys. I have I spent some time watching. Um, another YouTuber do a review of a Dead Legacy, uh, the experimental release that's that's out now, and I kind of like it. Um, actually, I like it a lot, and so I got to thinking, well, how in the world am I going to be able to upgrade to that uh, without breaking our base? And I think I might have a plan for that because. You know, I like the new weapons. I like the new scorpion monsters that are in it. You know, all those changes. But as if you guys have been following along, you know that um, he fixed the ladder exploit, which I don't actually have a problem with that. The ladder exploit really should be fixed. Um, but it's just kind of one of those things that I took advantage of it while I, I could kind of thing, you know? And you know, I'm I'm a little bit Yeah, I can move well enough. I'm a I'm a little bit careful, maybe I guess is the word, with the word exploit anyways, because you know, what is an exploit to one person is not an exploit at all to another person. So it's it's very subjective. Anyway, um, for example, somebody could, and probably some people do, think that the fact that you can automatically pull stuff from the chess in Undead Legacy is an exploit. You know, I don't think it is, but other people probably do, and that doesn't mean they're wrong. That means that's just their opinion, right? But I do, you know, I'll be honest with you, I do think that the latter thingy is an exploit, um, or that it's maybe that it's a bug and it really shouldn't be that way. So I don't have a problem with him fixing that, but what it does do is it screws up my current design of course in the game here so um can i yeah i can carry that you know but like i said i i have a test save that i te sometimes occasionally test things out on and um i think i have a, a, a plan to make things work and yes they do involve elevators and yes i know the elevators only go up six floors the biggest ones but i can put more than one up and um so the question now, though, is I'm trying to decide if I want to upgrade to the experimental right now or if I want to wait until he comes out, Subquake comes out with stable before I switch over. Uh, and I haven't I haven't made that decision yet. So anyway, um, I think we will. We probably will be doing it, though. We probably will be going to the experimental because I really, really like what I saw. OK, let's get some iron. Uh, crafting up here some iron ingots so we're gonna need 12 and a half minutes of burn time there uh, that's just enough right there okay cool so we got that done now here's the thing about the turret I could if I use the junk turret I can easily pick it back up and replace it as I as I go down into the pit mine problem with the junk turret is I don't have any skills in it I don't really want to put points into that and so therefore it's not going to do much but tickle the zombos so what I'm thinking is maybe instead is we set up um, an, an SMG turret or maybe even two at the top 
And, you know, the SMG turret, if it doesn't outright kill the zombies at the top, it will at least soften them up so that when they do fall down to me, you know, they'll be easier to kill. Um, and I am thinking maybe we'll do two because we have plenty of resources to make two of these. Uh, well, two of these. How come I can only... How come I can't queue up more than one? Oh, maybe I can't make more than one of these. I miss, Yeah, I'm missing something. Uh, iron plating, right. Okay. So that's what I'm thinking we're going to do. We're going to put the SMG turrets just at the top. I'll put one in each corner. And then, um, you know, they will either outright kill or at least uh, soften the zombos up so they're not as hard for us to kill when they drop down on top of us. Now, the other thing is that... Uh, the reason I'm going with the SMG turrets as opposed to the shotgun turrets is because I've got a metric buttload of 9mm rounds here. And I, you know, I don't use them. I don't use any 9mm weapons uh, in the game. That doesn't mean I may not in the future. But, you know, if we have to make more, we'll make more. So that's why I'm, I've decided to go with the SMGs as opposed to the shotgun turrets. If you were curious. Okay, so that gives us two of these. Uh, now, we make the turrets over here in the ballistics table, and we should be able to make two of these. Uh, nope, only one, because we're, we're going to be short on steel. Okay, so uh, we're, we're going to turn a, a decent portion of this iron into steel. So we'll just have to wait for that to finish. Uh, okay, so yeah, let me think here. We, we're going to have to wrap up this episode because we're out of time. It's actually two days later in real life for me finishing up just recording this part of the episode um but so what we're going to do in the next episode let's see it is horror it or it's day 97 horror is 98 we probably better pause our mining endeavors our pit mining endeavors and get the horde base ready to go and then you know depending upon how our time goes we can get back to working on that mine uh, i want to get that mine going because we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get a lot of resources. The problem with my mine underneath the building here is that it's it, it's about ready to be breached, um, and so I'd rather kind of stop using that mine, or at least reduce the use of it, and and use start using the pit mine right? because we're gonna not only get all that titanium, but we'll get the other stuff too. So yeah, the plan, tentative plan for the next episode is for us to. Um, to get the horde base ready to go for horde 98 and then after that we got lots of titanium which is a great thing uh, in fact I should be turning uh, the bulk of my titanium into plating how many of these can we make 118 let's make let's make a hundred because we'll be getting a lot more of that yeah so so we'll make some plates for all the repairs and stuff that we need to do and um yeah that'll be the plan so yeah we'll, we'll repair the hair base uh, the hair base <laughs> the hair base the horde base in the next episode and then go from there guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye